Hi, I am Ravi Handa. My Twitter handle is at the rate Ravi Handa. In today's session, we are going to discuss the basics of mean, median, and mode. Well, the mean, as you might know, can be of three types the arithmetic mean, the geometric mean, and the harmonic mean. Let us see what they are. The arithmetic mean is very similar to the average. You add all these numbers up and you divide them by n. In that case, the mean which results is the arithmetic mean. In geometric mean, what you do is you multiply all the numbers a1, a2, a3 till an and you take the nth root of them. That is what the geometric mean is. Harmonic mean is you write down n and their reciprocals will be 1 by a1, 1 by a2, 1 by a3, 1 by a3 till 1 by a n. Once you sum all them up, sum all of them up, reciprocate them, divide it by n, that is what the harmonic mean is going to be. It is also important to understand where these are going to be used. Arithmetic mean is used in most cases, let's say if you have to find out your average score. You have given five tests, got various scores in them. What is your average score? It will be the arithmetic mean of the values. You take a particular class of students, you take their weights. The average weight will be the arithmetic mean of the weights that you have taken. Moving on to geometric mean. When does that come in handy? Let's say a particular company has grown by 10%, 20%, 30% in three years. Then what is its average growth rate or the CAGR, the compounded annual growth rate? In that case, geometric mean comes in handy. How will you calculate it? 10% growth is the same as multiplying it with 1.1. 20% growth is the same as multiplying it with 1.2. 30% growth is the same as multiplying it with 1.3. You multiply these values, you raise them to the power of 1 by 3 or in other words, you take the cube root of these values, the resultant, whatever is the result, that will lead you to your CAGR. Let's say the result comes out as say 1.18, that means your CAGR will be 18 percent that is how geometric mean comes in handy harmonic mean is very simply n by 1 by a1 1 by a2 1 by a3 till a n this comes in handy in case of for example average speed you go from point a to point b with a speed of 40 km per hour you come back with a speed of 60 km per hour in that case your average speed is not 40 plus 60 by 2 but it is the harmonic mean of the two values. So harmonic mean comes in handy when you have to calculate average speed given that the distance is constant and the speeds are varying. Then you can simply do n by 1 by s1 plus 1 by s2 till 1 by sn. Whatever you will get, that is going to be your average speed. Keeping these in mind, there are a couple of other points which are really, really helpful for any given set of positive values that you are considering. The arithmetic mean will always be greater than or equal to the geometric mean. And the geometric mean will always be greater than or equal to the harmonic mean. This formula or this funda is always, always true. Some of you might be curious as to when arithmetic mean will be equal to geometric mean will be equal to the harmonic mean. This happens when all values, when all the values that you are considering are equal. If all the values, let's say you are considering are 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, any number of times, what will be their arithmetic mean? 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 n times 5 n by n or 5. What will be the geometric mean? 5 into 5 into 5 into 5, 5 n times nth root of the same that is nth root of 5 to the power n which is 5 harmonic mean will be n by 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 n times so it will become n by n by 5 and n would cancel you will be left with 5 as a matter of fact 
if you are given that any two of them are equal let's say arithmetic mean is equal to the geometric mean that will mean the harmonic mean is also the same and it is equal to that particular value as all values are equal it helps moving on it helps if you know the results for two numbers arithmetic mean for a and b if you can see from the formula will be a plus b by 2 geometric mean also you can see will be a into b square root of the same harmonic mean will be 2 upon 1 by a plus 1 by b which effectively comes out as 2ab upon a plus b also note that in this particular case gm square is actually am into hm please note that this is valid only in case of two values i have said this many times but students take make a mistake so please remember gm square is am into hm this is a valid formula no doubt about it but it is valid only when i have two numbers a and b it is not valid for other cases it is not valid when you have three values moving on to the median and the mode median of a finite list of numbers can be found by arranging all the observations from lowest to highest and picking the middle one essentially it represents the central value of the entire list or the middle value of the entire list mode is the value that occurs most often i have taken a random sample here let's just see what is the mean what is the median and the mode for this sample let me first arrange this sample in an increasing order so i have one as the smallest then i have a two then i have a three i have a four i have a six i have two sevens i have three eights and i have a nine let me just confirm how many values did i have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven here i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so this is the correct arrangement once i have arranged them correctly the median will be the central value in case of 11 numbers the sixth value will be the central value the sixth value is one two three four five six this is my central value so i can say that my median is seven mode is the value which occurs the maximum number of times eight is occurring the maximum number of times so that is my mode that's pretty much it with this i'd like to wrap up this session where we discuss the three kind of means which are there the median and the mode please provide feedback via twitter at my twitter handle at the rate ravi handa you can also email me on my mail id which is ravihanda at gmail.com thank you guys